This video will show you how to set the IP address for a Micrologix 1100 using Boot P. First, we need to verify the IP address settings for the computer. This is done by going to Control Panel, Network and Sharing Center, Change Adapter Settings. Right-click on the adapter that is connected to the PLC, choose Properties, and then find Internet Protocol version 4. Click on it, then click S Properties again. Set a static IP address like the one I have configured. Next, open Boot P. You may need to agree to the terms before proceeding. You'll see a dialog box asking you to choose the network interface you want to use. Once again, select the interface that is connected to your PLC. In the Network Settings dialog box, verify that the settings are similar to mine. If they are, there's nothing more that needs to be changed. Now, wait for the MAC address, the hardware address of the PLC to appear in the list. When it does, select it and choose Add Relation. Enter an IP address for the PLC. It can be any address within the subnet, as long as it doesn't conflict with anything else on the network. Make sure to leave the BootP software open. Now open RS Links. In RS Links, create a new driver for simplicity. When creating the new driver, choose a meaningful name so you can easily identify it later. In the configuration dialog box, make sure you select the interface that the PLC is attached to. Expanding the driver by clicking the plus sign, you should see the PLC appear, which indicates the IP address was successfully assigned. Keep in mind that this IP address is only temporary. To make the IP address permanent, you need to set it in RS Logix 500. If you already have a program, change the setting there. In this case, I'll create a new blank program. To make the IP address permanent, open Open Channel Configuration and click on Channel 1 FON, which is the Ethernet port channel. In the dialog box, uncheck Boot P Enable and enter the same IP address that you used in Boot P. Set the subnet mask as well. To finalize the process, the program will need to be downloaded to the controller. Since we've changed our driver settings, go to Comms System Comms. Find your new driver and click on it. Your PLC should appear in the right pane. Select the PLC and choose Download. You will be prompted with a series of questions. Answer all of them in the affirmative. One of the prompts will ask if you want to update your driver. By selecting Yes, you'll be able to download or upload without needing to return to system comms each time. The next prompt will mention that the settings for Channel 1 are different from those in the PLC. Choose Apply. This is the final step to set the IP address. Now, the IP address in your Micrologix 1100 is fully set. Keep in mind that if the battery is depleted, you might lose the IP address during a power loss.